Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be making a very simple API in Flask. And the purpose of this API is to be used in conjunction with a React frontend. So the React frontend won't be created by me. It's going to be created by Ben Awad over on his YouTube channel. So this will be part one. And then part two will be Ben using the API that I create to create the front end. So I'll link that video in the description below. So as soon as you're done with this video, go over to that video and you can complete the entire project. So to start, like I said, we're building a simple API. So there's not going to be a front end. So we'll test everything through Postman once we have the API routes up and running. And the API will have two routes. It will have one to list the movies that will be in the database that we create and another route to add new movies along with their ratings into this database. So to get started, first we have to install Flask and we'll also install Flask SQL Alchemy because we'll use Flask SQL Alchemy for the database models. So I'll install it here. Uh, you want to install Flask and Flask dash SQL Alchemy. and these will only take a moment to install. I'm using pip env to install, but you can use just pip if you have your own virtual environment already. Okay, so now that everything is installed, we'll go ahead and start the virtual environment here. And in my project, I'll create another folder to kind of separate out the pip stuff and the actual code. So I'll just call it API here. And before I forget, what I'll do is I'll export the Flask app to be API. So Flask app equals API. So this will allow us to use Flask run on whatever is inside of the API folder. And then I'll set Flask debug equal to one, which is just true. So when we do run the app, it's already in debug mode. So inside of the API folder, I'll create a new file. This is going to be a dunder init file. And I'll start by importing Flask, of course. So from Flask, import Flask. And also from Flask SQL Alchemy, since I'll be using this, import SQL Alchemy, capital SQL, and a capital A. And my text editor doesn't like that. OK, so now that I have those two imports, I can go ahead and create the very basics of the create app function. So I'll create the application object and I'll just do the config now. So I will have a SQLite database for this since this is a very simple project. So SQL Alchemy database URI. Uh, we'll call the database uh, database.db and then we'll use the database object that we create later to actually instantiate the app with this database. But for now, we'll just return app. And the rest of the things we'll do as they come up. So that's the foundation of the create app function. So the next thing that I want to take care of are the views. So like I said, there are going to be two endpoints for this API, one to view all the movies and one to add a movie. So let's get started on that. Uh, since this app is small, we'll just keep everything in separate modules. Uh, we don't have to create separate directories, just really basic model or modules because we have only two endpoints that we're going to work with. So in here, uh, like I said, two endpoints. So let me just import uh, blueprint because I'll be using blueprints for this and I'll instantiate the blueprint object and I'll call it main. This can be API. It can be main. Um, since I don't have a different part of the app, I'll just name it main because I think that makes the most sense. And for this, like I said, we have two endpoints or two routes. So the first is going to be one to add movies. So slash add underscore movie. And when you're adding a movie, this will be through a post request. So methods post. And then I will call this add movie as well. And I'll return, let's say done, and a 201 if everything is successful. So this is going to be pretty simple. So we'll handle the typical case. And we'll just return done and the status code 201 at the end. Status code 201 just means that something was created successfully. And then the other endpoint will be the ones to display all the movies. 
that we have in our database. So we'll just call this movies slash movies. And we'll call the function movies as well. And this one is going to return a list of movies. So I don't have that list of movies yet from the database, but I can start with an empty array. So this array has nothing in it. And what I'll do is I'll return this array through a JSON object. So up here, I need to import JSONify. So I can use this to convert my array or my list to JSON data, which will appear as an array uh, to React once it receives it. So JSONify, and I'll put an envelope named movies, and then I'll pass the actual movies list here. So that's the foundation of the API. This doesn't actually do anything interesting yet because there's no code to do anything. But if we were to test this now, it should work as long as we import the views in our create app function. So I'll go here and I'll import from views. So we're importing the views down here to avoid circular inputs. If we did it up here, then it wouldn't work because the Flask app hasn't been created yet. But since we're doing it inside here, uh, everything is being imported in the right order. So from views, import main, and then on the app object that was created here, we'll register the blueprint called main. So register uh, blueprint and then main. And then we can return the app. So with this, this should work. We should be able to call both endpoints and get something in return. Of course, it's not going to be anything interesting because we don't have any movies and this doesn't actually add movies to the database, but we should at least see it working. So let's see. So Flask run, we see the URL here. So we'll just take this and we'll put it into Postman. And we'll start with the Git request. So this is our base URL. And then the endpoint to get all the movies is slash movies. So let's send to this and see if it works. And then we see a response here. It says it's JSON. And we see movies and an empty array. So that's exactly what we expect to see. And then if I go to add movie instead of movies, and I'll actually just create a second tab here for the original ones, so slash movies. Let's run that again. Okay, so we see there's nothing there. And then here, if I try a git request, I see the error 405 method not allowed. That's because this endpoint only accepts post requests. So if I go back and then go post and send, I see done. And somewhere it should say 201, there, 201 created. So everything is working correctly. Of course, because there's no database, nothing actually gets saved, but we see the empty list there. So at least we know both endpoints are working. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to create the model for this project. So the model is going to be very simple. It's going to be a class that represents our movie table. So I'll create a new file and I'll call this models. And before I can get started, I need to import the DB object, which I haven't actually created yet, so I'll create it now. So inside of the dunder init file, we want to instantiate Flask SQL Alchemy. And we don't need to pass anything to it because it's going to be initialized later, but we can do that in the create app function. So underneath the config, what we can do is we can call that DB object and use init app and pass in the app object here. So in single file Flask apps, you normally pass the app when you instantiate the DB for the first time. But when you use this pattern of create app, you can't do that. So you have to instantiate the SQL Alchemy object without the app. And then inside of your create app function, that's where you instantiate the app. So you init the app there. So in models, what we can do now is we can import that same DB object because we need it to inherit from in our class. So from dot, which is just like the base of our project, import DB. And then I'll create the class that represents our movie table. So class movie, and then this inherits from db.model. And we'll have three columns in our table. So one is going to be the ID, which is going to be an integer column. And it's also going to be the primary key. So we don't need to do anything with this directly, but we'll have it. And then the two columns that we're interested in are the movie titles and the movie ratings. So one column will be named title. 
This will be a string and let's just say 50 characters long. And then the rating, which is going to be a number. So this would be similar to the primary key in the sense that they're both integers. So that's it for the movie table. So I have the three columns, ID, title, and rating. So now what I need to do is I need to actually create the database. So I'll stop my server. I'll start up a Python REPL. And what I'll do is I'll import a couple of things. So first from, let's see, API.models, I want to import movie. I won't actually use this, but this is just so everything is read correctly through the imports. And then second, I'll import the DB object and the create app function from API. So from API, import DB and create app. And then finally, I'll use db.createAll. So what this does is it will take all the models that exist in our file, but not the database, and create them in the database itself. And since the database doesn't exist, it will create the database for us as well. So I need to pass in the app. And for that, I'll use the create, the create app function. And I'll use the parentheses so it actually returns the app object. And we'll run it. And we see an error. It says the... SQL Alchemy database URI bind isn't set, and that's because I have a typo here. I need the L in SQL. So I'll just exit and do that again. So from api.movie import movie, or I said that wrong. From api.models import movie, and then from api import db and create app, and then db create all app create app. Okay, so didn't get the error and we see the database file was created in our file structure. So if I use SQLite to actually view this, so API slash database dot DB and I do type dot tables, I see movie there. There should be nothing in it because I haven't actually added any movies yet. And it's movie. So yeah, nothing there yet. So I'll start up the app again. And now we can get back to our views so we can actually make this work. So what this endpoint should be ex expecting is some JSON data. So basically this JSON data is very simple. It's going to have a movie title and a movie rating. And through that, we have enough information to add this movie to the database along with its rating. So the first thing I want to do is I want to actually get that data. So I'll use the requests object here. So import from Flask uh, the request object. And I'll assign a variable called movie data to the JSON that comes along with the request. So request.getJSON. And then the next thing I'll do is I will create a new movie object using our model so we can add that to the database. So what I need to do is I need to import a couple of things. I need to import the DB object. So from dot import DB, and then from dot models import movie. So the dots are just relative to our project. So the dot with nothing means we're looking in the Dunder init file. And then of course dot models is this models module here. So with this movie, class, we can create a new movie object. So I'll just call this new movie and we'll use the movie class and the movie class will need two things. We need the title of the movie and then we need the rating of the movie. So the title of the movie is going to come from movie data. So this is the JSON object. So now it's a dictionary and the name of the key we want is title. So we'll use title as the key. And then we'll have the rating as well, and it'll be very similar. So movie data rating. So now that we have this new movie, we can go ahead and add it to the database and commit. So db.session add this new movie, and then db session commit. And then we can return done and then 201. So that's the same. So all we're doing here is taking the data from the request, adding it to the database, and then committing. So let's try that out with our API through Postman. So everything should have restarted. 
because the debug mode is on. So we'll go to add movie. And if we just send, we get an error because it is expecting some data. So what we need to do is we need to modify the body here and we'll go over to raw and we'll change this drop down to JSON. So anything that we type in here should be interpreted by JSON once it gets to the server. So we have to use valid JSON, of course. So curly bracket and double quotes instead of single quotes. And we have two keys. So one is title and the other is rating. So the rating is just a number and the title is the title of a movie, so it's a string. So for the first title, let's say Avengers Endgame and the rating, will give it a five. So let's send that and we see done. So how do we know if this worked or not? So I can use SQLite to actually open up the database. So API slash database.db and then I can select star from movie again. And now we see one movie is in the database. So we see Avengers Endgame, we see the number five. The number one here is just the ID that is automatically generated. So we can exit out of here and we'll just start the server again. And let's add some more movies before working on the movies endpoint. So we'll have Infinity War as well. I'll give that a five. And then let's see. Captain Marvel. I'll give it a four. And let's see one more movie. Um, What's another Marvel movie that was released recently? Ant-Man and the Wasp. I've never seen this movie. I'll give it a three. <laughs> okay, so we have three movies in the database. So now let's move on to working on our second endpoint. So this should return the movies from the database along with the ratings, of course. So to do that, we need to query the movie table. So to query the movie table, we use the class and SQL Alchemy allows us to query directly on the class. So movie.query.all because I don't need any kind of filters on the movie. I just want all the movies that exist. And I'll put this in a variable called movies list. So now what I need to do is I need to go through this movies list and put the data into this movies array. I can't send movies list directly to Jasonify because this is a SQL Alchemy uh, query result object. So it doesn't work as JSON data. It needs to be a very simple structure. So it needs to be either a list or a dictionary. So what I'll do is inside of this list, I'll append dictionaries to it. So for movie, in movie list, I will take this movies list here. So movies as the Python list and I'll append a dictionary. So the dictionary is going to have a title and the dictionary is going to have a rating. So this is the movie rating and the movie title. So you see there's like a symmetry with sending the request in the first place and actually getting it from the database again. So the title of the movie is going to be this movie object dot title. So movie dot title. And then the rating is going to be similar. So movie dot rating. So now it's saving that. I can go over to my movies endpoint. And now when I run it, I expect to see the movies here in the list. And I don't because I messed up something. So I just forgot. Uh, let's make this movie singular. So movie list, just so they match. So this is movies list and this is movie list. So I'll just keep it movie list. So now let's try. Okay, so now I see the four movies that I have in the database and I see their ratings along with that. So Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, Captain Marvel and Ant-Man and the Wasp. And I have the ratings for all four movies right there. So that concludes this part of the tutorial, the API. As you can see, it's not terribly interesting because we only have the API, but once you integrate the React parts to it, you'll be able to visually see this. So what you'll be able to do is add the movies through a front end, and then React will take care of sending the request to my Flask app, and then React will also request the 
list of movies so they can be displayed in the front end. So make sure you check out that video. Like I said, the link to Ben's video is in the description below. And if you like this video or have any questions, um, just leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this type of video, like you want me to do more collaborations, just let me know. Uh, let me know what you will want me to do a collaboration on. And um, that's it. So like I said, go watch Ben's video. And I hope you enjoy that video. And thanks for watching this one.